Hello, hello. hello. Welcome back to Echo. We're here. The Dolphin. The Dolphin. <laughs> what is those games, man? I don't know. I've never actually played them. There is no... <laughs> they're they're... Har- apparently, like, w- which one is it? They're hard as shit. They're all... Yeah, that's just all of them. Because I don't know why they decided to make them that way. But, uh... Challenge the youth of t- tomorrow? Yesterday? Yeah, it's the, it's, it's the real-life gamer casual filter. <laughs> if you can't beat Echo the Dolphin, you should stop playing video games. Wow, yeah. okay. Period. Period. It's the Dark Souls of the, all <laughs> dolphin simulators. <laughs> Echo the Dark Souls. Oh, my God. This <laughs> Carl standing next to me, some freeze-dried ice cream in his grasp. Jesus, when did he get so quiet? He didn't say anything, which puts me in the awkward position of being the one to speak. Fat ass. I mumble. Carl holds up the ice cream, which has a weird, wafer-like consistency. I told Daxton I'd give him a bunch of hen's cartons I'd got back at my house. Your folks won't mind? They won't notice. I could just say I ate it myself. Yeah, they wouldn't doubt that. There's a light smile on his muzzle now. (laughs) Right. I blink. You're okay? Not really. All this stuff got my mind off the interview, though. Just kind of want to go home and play video games without getting shot. (laughs) There's a silent pause. Chase. What he said wasn't true. Oh, I know. I let out a sharp exhale, closing my eyes for a second. I let the tip of my repeater rest against the floor. So, was um, that chase like someone else talking through him? Or... It's questionable. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we don't quite know. You never really know which chase is which. It's like sometimes like their prose is a bit different. Like mm-hmm. they'll say you instead of I. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like in the, in the uh, thought. Interesting. In their in their inner in monologue. monologue, yeah. They'd be like, "Oh, you should do this." That's really interesting. Or you went down the hall. Yeah, and like, a lot of times the ones that like, if you don't, when you really question if he's in control, is when you have all the same option. Mm, yeah. Like you can only pick to do one thing, even though you have three options. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Batman is in the passenger seat like ninety percent of his life. That is wild. <laughs> That's really what if what a freaking weenie that he can't even control himself? <laughs> what a freaking weenie! Trust no one, like not even these, yourself. Not even yourself. He has all the, like these horny like spirits. Yeah, see, that's the only time he pilots is when he's fucking horny. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I don't know. Samuel's pretty horny. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't know what his taste. Do you are, think? Really. Do you think Sydney's one of the pilots? Are you sure about Maybe. <laughs> he was he was probably the pilot whenever it was him and Flynn getting rickety rockety. Oh I yeah, for sure. So. Probably. <laughs> Do you think Sydney was gay? No. no. Not at all. No. Not even a little bit. No. <laughs> None of these characters are gay. They're all no, straight. Yeah. Straight as a fucking arrow. <laughs> I would argue against that because like after the whole thing, like, you know, he got done. Like, it completely switched. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thank you, though. For what? Defending me back at the office. The ram shakes his head dismissively. I don't think you'll see most of them besides Leo again after tomorrow, though. Like you said, none of this matters. The truth does. I guess your spring break hookup with Chase isn't going to be a long-term thing then, right? Er, I wasn't really expecting that to be brought up. Who told him? Or was it that fucking obvious? He pulls out his phone, seeming to check to see whether my Wi-Fi is working yet. I grunt, clearing my throat. Maybe he saw him getting frisky at the back of the truck. (laughs) He did. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he watched it. I just want to know what happened. Dude, if I was Chase, I'd just get in my car and drive back to Pueblo at this point. I don't think he's going to do that. Why? I locked his ass in the reading room. (laughs) Yo! (laughs) Carl's eyes widened, the ram reacting much quicker than normal without his usual pot haze. So that's where you went. 
I think that's a crime, man. So is murder. Yeah, but it's not like anything Dude. bad can happen to Chase in the closet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is Chase you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Man, Chase is just in the closet forever. He's in the closet forever. <laughs> He's going to die in the closet. <laughs> Uh, no one will ever know uh, that he's secretly straight. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking bless. Oh my god. I look offward, peering at the sorry state my room is in at the moment. What sorry state? <laughs> Just whatever mess. Well, the, 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 the blankets are thrown everywhere. Like, he probably has, like, so condoms cool. all over the floor. Oh god. <laughs> I usually keep my shit tidy, but now there's dirty laundry all over the place, and everything kind of smells musky. Nowhere near as bad as Carl's, but still. I'm just going to talk to him. No torture or anything, right? (laughs) Fucking hell, Carl. That's a different route. (laughs) Do you really think I'd do that? I'm not Leo. Wow. (laughs) Wow! I was joking. He rolls his shoulders. Man, this friend group is toxic as shit hell yeah i don't know i don't know tj hasn't done anything like to hurt anybody no i'm just saying in general (laughs) like these people do not like i don't know i don't know leo really likes chase like he loves him yeah but it's just like i mean i know that flynn has somewhat of a close relationship with carl yeah but like everyone else just like they don't click at all no. no. Well, I mean, you know, after the trauma that happens, and then everyone just split ways pretty much after that. I, I think... Were they tighter before? Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Jenna and Chase get along pretty well. Because they go to the same school. Yeah. And uh, Chase and Carl get along really well. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is pretty questionable, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It like, feels... What's the point of being in a group, though? Yeah, yeah. 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 It feels kind of like when we were kids again, with all this stuff. Yeah, I just... It's... I trail off. My mouth is refused... Like, my mouth is refusing to speak the words in my head. He sets his not-icy ice cream down on my nightstand, and I resist the urge to yell at him about the crumbs. Meanwhile, Daxton starts at the blender again in the other room. Man. I think I hear Carl, Carl sigh. Do you want, like, a hug or something? This action will have consequences. Are you serious? (laughs) No, it's a joke from from his Life is Strange playthrough. Yeah. Your first choice in Life is Strange is whether or not when you greet your brother to shake his hand or hug him. Uh And if you choose hug him, it says this action will have consequences. It it says in the corner, this action will have consequences. (laughs) It's really, it's really funny. Oh, it's so good. I look down at him, raising a brow. Do you? He shrugs, seeming a mixture of numb and trepidatious. I just don't want you to leave, dude. Not like everyone else. It takes me a moment to register the shift in in conversation. After everything that's happened, that's what's bothering him the most? The fact that I said I might leave town? Man, we talked about this shit early. I know, I know, I know, dude. Carl rubs his jaw and face with the base of his paws, pacing upon the carpeted floor. I just... It'd suck ass, that's all. Not in a good way, either. (laughs) I fidget with my rifle, acting like I'm doing something with it while I think of what to say. You'd be alright. I don't know. You seem to be friendly and up with Daxton. With Dax. He even plays video games and does all that other nerd shit you like that I don't. You game sometimes. Yeah, only because you do. I guess that's the point, isn't it? He scratches at his beanie, a bit of his head fur peeking out from the horn holes. I say nothing, just watching him go back and forth. I wish he wasn't so nervous. I wish he'd just say it. He's cool. And you're not at all anxious around him. I still kind of am. You were talking about porn and shit with him within an hour of your first proper conversation. That's how you can tell you've made a good friend. I put on a smirk. If that were the case, you'd be the most popular guy in the the county. (laughs) Oh, fuck off, bleeder. (laughs) 
I snirk, regardless. With a shift of my hips, I nudge him with my tail. Stop your tra- Stop your treading. You're wearing the-, the carpet. I'm sorry. He stops, looking down at his hooves for a moment, then back up at me. If I stayed put, I'd probably start sticking to it. Fuck you. <laughs> I smile, though I try to stifle it. I always thought us lizard folk look fucking creepy when we smile. We don't really have that same cutesy appeal like most furry fuckers. Like Carl. <laughs> That's terrible phrasing from this game. It's great. Wow. It's... <laughs> Lol. <laughs> this is going to sound really gay, but promise you won't leave, dude. The seriousness of the request makes me pause. I look into his eyes and I, I feel like a know. selfish <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Carl's not fucking ready for this world. He's just going to rot here. But... Poor poor guy. I never really felt right filling this whole big brother role again after what happened. Carl shifts his weight from hoof to hoof, noting my lack of response. I know I'm like a total burden, but... You're not a fucking burden. Huh? You keep me from losing my mind in this shithole, you know that? You're the reason I haven't left already. Carl stopped shifting, seeming to be trying to wrap his head around that admission. See, you're almost being nice. He's... Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> he's, he's... <laughs> he's... Flynn's getting there. Yeah. He's almost getting there. It just took, you know, more trauma. <laughs> he opens his muzzle to speak, but I cut him off. And don't go fucking... Uh, don't fucking go off again about how you're almost 21 and you should be better on your own. Turning into an adult doesn't magically fix all the shit that fucked you up as a kid. Dude, you're not... He thins his lips, the ram looking rather awkward. I'll stay. For now. For real? That's what I just fucking said, you absolute dumbass. The next thing I know, Carl's fist is against my soft spot. I flinch back, irking instinctively, but there's no pain. Only the same usual tingly feeling. He's not punching me, he's poking me. The corner of Carl's lips curl upward in a sort of half-smile. He nudges me again, this time in the shoulder. I raise an inquisitive brow, thumping him back. He steps forward, wrapping his arms around my torso. I'm left standing, a little baffled at what just happened, with Carl's thick arms around my midsection. His fur is coarse. Not quite to the point that it's pricking me, but it has its weight to it. I look down at the top of this beanie, of his beanie noggin, and it really is just like when he was a kid again. A real damn milksop. What does that mean? What, is, what does that mean? What, wait, no, how do you spell that? Milksop? Yeah, I don't know what that is. What? What? Milk. Sop. S-O-P. Oh. Milk sop. What is milk sop? <laughs> what is the definition? A, a person who is indecisive or lacks courage. Oh, okay. I've never heard that. No, I've never heard that word either. What? Where did milk sop come from? <clears throat> the name milk sop is thought to derive from the uh, Middle English word milk sop. Okay, <laughs> which was a piece of bread soaked in milk. As a, as a name, it may have evolved from a nickname for a spiritless man. It has also been suggested that it may that it mays have uh, been an ocu- occupational name. Occupa- is that say it right? Yeah. Uh, name for a farmer who dealt with milk products. Milksop is a last name. That's what that's from. Like, the name Milksop. That's someone's last... That can be people's last name. Interesting. That's fascinating. I've never met a Milksop before. Also, that's a very slick... I would hate if milk was in my name. Very distinct sort of definition for that. Right? Mm -hmm. Very, very specific. (laughs) Milksop. I uh, love that. Love that voice to text. Text to voice, right? <laughs> love uh, it so much. There's no backpats with the hugs. He lingers. I open my mouth to say something stupid, but I just bite my tongue. I don't draw back either. 
Closing my eyes, I emptied my mind and just stopped thinking for a moment. I leaned forward, resting my chin between his horns. I get this weird sort of twisty feeling in my chest. His heart starts beating. Oh my god. <gasps> and his heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> Carl shifts again, as if trying to look up. And of course, the edge of his hoof steps right on one of my toes. <laughs> I suppress a grimace just as the ram lifts his head up enough to meet me eye to eye. Sorry. It's fine. I'm tough. Hey. Jenna's voice, Jenna's voice startles us both and we pull apart. I pivot on heel to see the fox staring at us with a look I can't quite place. Surprised, bemused, even a bit wry. Food's ready. She looks at both of us. Carl acts like he's checking his phone. High school me would have uh, squ- would be uh, squeeing right now. Did she like that BL shit back in the day? Oh yeah, she's a yeah, she's she, a Yowie fan. She's a Yowie fan. Yeah, yeah. Of course. They talk about it in Chase's route, where she like just read B- she reads BL manga. No one's straight. Everyone likes men. Yeah, that's just the- yeah. <laughs> so- so you only have gay men and straight women. Everyone loves cock in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that Jenna's name is Jenna B. Gay, she's just straight. She's Are just you straight. serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah, her last name is B-E-G-A-Y. Oh my god. I think it's pronounced Begay. Begay. But it's, it's, I just read it as B. Gay. Jenna B. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez. I swear, there's something in the water, in the tap water. <laughs> I open my mouth to protest, then just let a quiet, ugh. I have to will my tail not to curl in on itself. Then again, I'm pretty sure you don't drink plain water. Oh my god. She seems to look up she seems to looking up at Carl. I can practice practically see Carl's blush through the fur on his cheeks. Oh. Flynn, when you got a minute. What I clear my throat, putting on a more neutral expression. What do you want? I need to talk to you. <clears throat> not about this. <laughs> Her eyes flick back and forth between us. She's drinking in the sight that, like, Carl downs energy drinks. What the hell does she want to talk to me alone about? I glance down to Carl, then back. Yeah, I'm still going to keep watch after, though. Is that what you're doing? (laughs) She turns, departing as soon as she finishes speaking, not letting me get a word out. Fucking typical. I rub my hand over my face. It was just a hug. Carl's voice is quiet, but still rings defensive. Ch, fuck her. Look, in every BL manga, that's how it starts. Either that or they go straight to sex. But, you know. There's no middle burn. <laughs> there's no slow burn. Well, there's either the slowest slow burn. No, so it, it, it depends on who the audience is. It's a slow burn if it's a manga directed towards women. Mm. And they go straight to sex if it's a manga in towards men. Facts. <laughs> it's how it always is. Interesting. I'm uh, glad you're staying, though, dude. I grunt, reaching over and squeezing the pudge of the ram's side. He grins instinctively, trying to push my hand away. I give his pectoral one last pinch before giving him a nudge out the door to my room. I guess I'm supposed to feel embarrassed right now, but I don't really. I'm just glad to have this loser around. Daxton will be good for Carl if I do go, but I don't want to think about that now. As I turn to leave, I look at my bed and can't help but see him laying there. That vacant look in his eyes, my cum still splattered on his neck. Fucker. You, you went from, like, oh my god. <laughs> Fucker was pulling. There was no smooth transition with that. It's just like there never is heart, with Flynn. This heart to heart with, like, you know... Your friend, probably having a little bit of a crush moment, and then straight to just thinking about when he fucks someone. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. That's 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 all. That's Flynn. That's whole Flynn. Flynn. We call Jesus. it whole Flynn. It's Flynny boy. We call it whole Flynn. The whole <laughs> the whole Flynn is what the movie is called. Oh my god! A fucker was playing me the whole time, and for what? To get off? That's all it was. It's spring break. And he, for some reason, watched enough scaly porn to want me. Consequence free right? 
Hey, now you're you're insinuating that Chase is smart enough Facts. to that pull is, this off. That is oh true, God. factual. That's actually really funny. Ugh. Like he, he thought the entire time that he was scheming him, but no. <laughs> Chase is just dumb and is just tripping over himself. Yep. His plan. His plan is not That's a plan. Funny. The sound of clinking silverware in the kitchen pulls me back into the present. I straighten out my pants, waiting for my cock to fully retreat before heading back into the kitchen with my rifle. Dude. <laughs> Zero to 60, bro. He's always ready to go. Yeah. That's impressive, actually. <laughs> there they all are. The gang's all here. Yep, covering up Carl. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's some oh, whoop! It's layered cr- incorrectly. That's in the some book. good positioning. Like, the, the SpongeBob pointing. <laughs> <laughs> There's Carl. And Carl's on. You right. know what? I'm good with Leo being front and center. So, uh, well, Jenna's center. Yeah, you know what? We can push her out of the way. <laughs> Carl's already poking around inside a salad bowl on the counter, glancing up at me briefly. Daxton's the only one sitting, staring at the water in his glass. I sling my rifle over my shoulder. I grab one of the salamander's cups from the cupboard and get myself what looks like an apple banana smoothie. The cup itself is labeled for some sort of convention, though the exact name of it has been worn away from many washings. As I move to the salad, Carl nudges me. At first, I think he's just being playful, but then I follow his eyes. Leo's pacing back and forth by the window, muttering something about Clint. He keeps checking his phone, the wolf pretty evidently restless as all hell. TJ's looking at him too, his expression difficult to place. He's never been exactly hard to read when he's upset like this. His nervous tick always gives it away. Yet, I can't tell what he looks more of, concerned or guilty. I'm usually pretty good at reading folks, so this is kind of pissing me off. I take a seat next to Daxton. I'm, uh... A bit out of the loop here. His big blue eyes shift from person to person. Might be best if you fuck off again for a bit. (laughs) Seriously, can you just explain something for once instead of being like a weird cryptic shithead? I can see lines forming along Daxton's smooth forehead as he furrows his brow. His skin's so tightly stretched across his body, it makes even his even slightest change of face readily visible. I don't have a clue how the furry tits get my kind confused with his. As I grunt and mutter for for him to eat my shit, I can't help but wonder if I should bring him up to speed or not. I guess part of me wants as many people as possible to know what happened. I mean, fuck, that's what I've always wanted, right? These fuckers finally acting like something happened, and that our little group wasn't just little old Leo, Chase, TJ, Jenna, Carl, and I. Eventually, everybody sits to eat. There's not enough room at the kitchen island for everybody, so TJ and Jenna sit on the counter by the fridge. TJ's not saying much. Alright, I can't access Wi-Fi or make calls. Daxton, is it? Yep. uh, Were we not taking shelter from Clint, we wouldn't mean to impose upon you like this, so my apologies. It's alright. He pokes out a clump of almond shavings in his salad. I just want to know what's going on. She looks to TJ, then after a quiet, affirming nod from the lynx, she responds to the salamander. When we were younger, one of our neighbors, uh, our friend, drowned in Lake Emma. She pauses. Actually, they died in a hospital later on, but the point is we were all there for it. It was a rather traumatizing experience, even for the older members of our our sort of friend group at the time. <laughs> she speaks in such a plain, even tone, she might as well have been reading the directions off the back of a TV dinner. Everyone, including Daxton, looks incredibly uncomfortable. The salamander just nods in faux understanding. Oh. He digs into his salad with such focus, it's like he's trying to read a book in there. So, let's just jump right into it. She takes a big drink from her smoothie, leaving us in anticipation. I groan quietly. Flynn. Fucking what? 
Do you believe Ch- that Chase killed Sydney? What? Daxton looks up, letting out a little wisp of laughter, assuming we're joking. As he sees he's the only one laughing, he starts to look visibly tense. I didn't fucking expect her to just straight up and ask me this, either. Well, way I see it, either Chase is lying, or TJ is. Or fuck it, maybe they both are and are covering for each other's asses. But Chase... But Chase in there was spouting bullshit like a steer's rear. (laughs) I point to TJ, who quickly looks away. Threw me under the bus the moment he started squealing. Chase wouldn't lie to me about something big like this, yeah? But neither would you, Tej. I just... The wolf rubs his paw through the fur on his face. TJ shifts, looking like he's about to start crying again. I'm not lying. It's still word versus word with you two. And Chase fucked off once TJ told us what happened from his point of view. Which took you long enough, by the way. I hard eye the lynx, but his own eyes are cast so far away from me, they may as well be in the back of his head. TJ. Denna rubs her paws on the napkin, wringing it some before speaking again. Tell us again about the monster you saw. Oh, come on. Jenna ignores me. Give us as many details as you can. And take as much time as you need. TJ clutches his bowl of salad in his lap with both paws. It looks like he hasn't had a bite. His eyes take on that more of a reflective quality than that on that more reflective quality they always do when the tears are start starting to well. It's unnerving on a sort of primal level to see TJ tearing up like this. He's an adult, a grown ass he's an adult, a grown ass man, looking just like he did when he was a kid. It reminds me of how little any of us have truly grown up. Um, like I said before, tall with burnt skin, reddish, I guess. How tall? Like, about seven feet. Jenna frowns. How did it move? Really fast, or not at all. It was like pictures, you know. A slideshow that was being fast-forwarded. Like modern anime being three for, <laughs> being animated on thirds and sometimes even fourths. It looks terrible. It's <laughs> very good. TJ knows his stuff. Oh man. <laughs> Carl finally finally looks up from his hooves, the ram appearing appearing increasingly nervous. When it it moved through the water, the water didn't move like a wake. It just splashed out with each step. Uh, Tell me about that face again, please. Uh, okay. TJ's having such a hard time getting the words out, but Jenna just doesn't stop. She looks... wrapped? Three holes. Two for the eyes and one for the mouth. They weren't, like, bloody or anything, just empty, dark. Everyone's silent for a moment. Then, next to me, Daxon rises up to his feet. The salamander walks around to where TJ's sitting, then points to something behind him. Like this? Oh, fuck. What are we... What are we getting? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Daxon, I love you. <laughs> He's pointing at the electrical socket? TJ turns, looks at it, and then switches as if startled. He quickly quickly wipes his eyes and nods. Daxton stares, slack-jawed. Leo takes a loud slurp from his smoothie. There's a dribble of the pink liquid stuck in his fur around the edge of his jowls. Guys, am I missing something here? I saw it. Saw what, Carl? That thing. Carl gestures toward the electrical outlet. I give him an incredulous look as we meet each other's glances for a second. Yeah? I saw a pretty nifty light switch back when I was 13. (laughs) I looked to TJ. It didn't make me hide the truth about my friend's murder for about a decade. (laughs) Shut up, dude. Oh, Carl snapped back! He did. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh man, that's how you know it's serious. I blink at Carl. He stands up, still staring at the socket. When I crashed my car that night, you remember? I do. Carl didn't want to talk about it for months after it happened. I only found out about the truth then. It was after he dropped out of college. Apparently, it was way fucking past twilight and he was drugged out of his mind. That scabies... Scabies or scabies? I don't... don't. Scabies ridden fat ass Jeremy. Oh. So, Jeremy... So probably he had like skin abrasions from like doing heroin or shit. Milk sop. (laughs) Still had a milk sop open on your fucking phone. It's very important, milk sop. Yeah, yeah. Milk sop. Scabies. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, but like... You want like the pronunciation? I want pronounce. Wait. Scabies. Scabies. Scabies? Okay, that makes sense. I guess okay. if... Yeah, yeah. That scabies-ridden fat-ass Jeremy gave him acid in his trailer and he had a bad trip. Carl describes some cartoon he put on, a tiger and a bird, with the tiger baking the bird alive. He mentioned how vivid everything was and how the fucking Jeremy wouldn't stop laughing. That's very poor bird representation. It's true. and I mean, I don't think there is bird representation. I think birds are just birds. They are. That's why this game sucks. <sighs> it's very problematic. <laughs> That's right. You, they had a bird here, you know. Pretty good. Yeah. He busted out of there and drove off fall hightail like. While making his way down Route 65, mm, he swerved and hit a pole. The impact would have killed him if he weren't so thick skulled. And of course, he told his dear old parents about it and they took the blame for everything. They didn't want him to be tested when the cops showed. It wasn't until a couple months ago he told me, in his drug addled mind, he thought he had driven to Pueblo and picked up Chase. He claimed. Carl claimed he was talking to him the whole ride back, telling him how college life was and go how college life was going and shit. Stroking his horns, mentioning how he missed him, and he wanted him back as a roommate. You know, all the shit Chase never actually said after Carl dropped out. The fucker barely even responded to his messages. He could have sworn when he swerved off the road and struck the pole, he killed Chase, crushed somehow at impact. He wouldn't stop shaking. I made a joke that I would have helped him bury the body. (sighs) Yikes. I threw up later thinking about it. Yeah. The ram is looking at me now with these really big, sad eyes. I never see him like this, sober and fully fucking aware of really bad shit. Usually, the the moment shit starts getting remotely bad, he tokes till his mind melts the Till his mind melts the horrors away, as he calls them. There's none of that shit here, that's for certain. I never liked how it makes me feel, and Daxton's too nerdy to know any pot dealers. This is going to sound really nuts, but that thing TJ is describing with the electrical socket face, it was chasing me that night, man. I saw it, exactly how TJ described. That's how it moved. I thought I had outran it, but then it was in the car with me where I thought Chase was and I hit the fucking pole, man. Where was Chase? Where Chase was? Leah looked at Carl with raised eyebrows. I let out a puff of exasperated air. You were tripping balls on acid. I looked to the rest of the group. That's why he thought he was with Chase. Leah's expression furrows. You've done acid, Carl? Yeah, or I know how it sounds. I thought it seemed familiar earlier when TJ was describing it at City Hall, but that face, it was just like an outlet. Daxon's nodding along with everything Carl says. Flynn, I literally was just telling you about this shit. I saw it in my dream, in the water. It's the second time I've seen it in two days. I recognize it too. Not in a dream or because of drugs, though. She looks over at TJ, who appears even more frightened with the confessions from those around him. When I was younger, well, much younger, I sometimes saw it during uh, times I was really angry or sad. 
it's the closest thing I've ha ever had to what my grandmother described as a spiritual experience. When I told her about it, she told me it sounded uh, a lot like a Wendigo. Ooh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What? Leo crossed his arms firmly over his chest, the wolf having been the last one who was actually still eating dinner. <laughs> He's a hungry boy. <laughs> he is hungry. He's a large lion. Guys, I understand the stress of all this, yeah? But seriously, this is too much. Jenna, you're a pragmatic and all that. And to see you going off like this has me awfully concerned. You know, it's facts. Leo's like the only one like detached from not having an experience yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> La, gotta love being an outsider, right? Yeah. This isn't one of our old VHS horror movie nights. He looks to me now, his voice stern and steady. Sydney is not some zombie thing rising from the lake to get revenge on us spring breakers. He was just a kid, and he died, and we need to move on. Forgive, forget, forgive. I don't give a damn, really. He brings his heavy paw up to his face, rubbing at the space between his eyes. His nose is starting to bleed, probably cracking from how dehumid dehumidified I keep it in here. I want to believe what he's saying. I'm ready to call these fuckers out on their bullshit. But at the same time, the coincidence of all this is just too much. TJ's tough to read now, but I don't doubt that the I don't doubt the sincerity of Carl, Jenna, or even Daxton in that they believe what they're saying. I just want the truth. That's all I want. I sigh. I think we should talk to my aunt. Why your aunt? She's good with this sort of shit. Hmm. I pause. Well, I don't know about I don't know what this is that's happening, but fuck, I don't know what else to do. Leo just frowns at me. I'm guessing you're wanting to go now, huh? You can go home if you want. I know it's tempting now that Chase isn't here to, for you to stalk. <laughs> wow. I just... You're right, partially. I'm really wanting to talk to Chase alone about all this. The lying and stuff. He shrugs. Who knows? Maybe he's seen the window go too. Do you have a spare gun I could borrow? <clears throat> Jesus, is this really what it comes to? I look at Leo for a moment. He's been sort of a gun nut as of late, which is real strange noting how against them he was in high school. You licensed? Yep, open carry. I know what I'm doing. That's not saying much, noting our state has, um, uh, has the most lax weapon licensing standards in the nation. <laughs> That's typical Jenna, Jenna for you. Reality's going out the window, but she'll still be there thrusting some socio-political bullet point in the middle of it. All my shit's licensed for me, and me alone. Leo clicks his tongue against the roof of his mouth. Bah, this isn't the time for your by-the-book stuff. I'm grabbing one of your flashlights. I'll be in the van. He opens the door and leaves. I guess we're going. It seems so. Carl and Daxton look at each other. I'm not feeling very good. If you're going to puke, do it on Dax's side of the sink. <laughs> the salamander, who is already looking unnerved, somehow manages, manages to frown even more. Jenna strokes the lynx's arm, muttering something that I can't quite catch. For a split second, a glimmer of a sad smile appears on his face. It diminishes quickly, but... I guess I'm glad TJ's not completely broken. The group begins to head out, leaving their plates and cups on the counter. I linger a bit, catching Jenna as she's wiping her paws off on a dish towel. Hey. Yeah? You wanted to tell me something? She gives me a look like she doesn't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. What? She pauses, then nods as if remembering something. I'm happy for you and Carl. <laughs> her tone is idle, her mind seemingly focused elsewhere. If he's going to explore his sexuality, it's good that it's with someone he knows and trusts who's, you know, experienced. What? I cross my arms tightly over my chest, squinting down at her. How the fuck would she know I'm experienced? We ain't a thing. Yes, you weren't ever much for having things in general. She looks out the window, her expression kind of like, some, like a mix of distant and troubled. 
Everyone's filing into the van, except Daxton, who's holding up his phone to the sky, trying to get service, I guess. As I open my mouth to rebut, she holds up her paw. It's not what I wanted to talk to you about, and I suppose current uh, matters are... She sighs. More pressing than, than would be appreciate, uh, wait, appropriate, yeah, appropriate to delay for this conversation. Her demeanor seems to shift, her posture not as full of that holier-than-thou air that she usually seems hell-bent on putting on. I can see Leo behind the wheel now, surely getting antsy. Yeah, Leo looks like he's about to pop a hemorrhoid already. I just wanted you to know, I understand your concerns more clearly. I grunt. Yeah, well, hopefully my aunt can help me understand yours. I thumb back toward the electrical socket. Jenna looks at it, purses her lips, and scowls. I can't tell if she's just frowning at her, if she's just frowning at herself at this point. When all's lo- when all logic's gone out the fucking window, her shtick of being the rational mind here is certainly a challenge. With a small nod, she turns, heading out with the rest. I sigh, pulling back the lever of my repeater and watching the clip extend outward. I remembered to load it, after all. Here's hoping I don't need it. I push it back in and head outside. Okay, that seems like a good place to... Yeah, I think so. so. Damn, that was was really good. And I kind of like how all of that that stuff with the with our lad is coming together yeah. everyone's like you saw it too that's pretty cool you saw the electrical socket man <laughs> he's coming to give me power oh no <laughs> i mean i guess like you know they don't have like humans in this world right so they right. don't like how do you explain like a flat a flat face yeah, yeah that's a good point yeah no one would no one would have a flat skull skeleton skull. that's why i like i forget who says it but when they're like in a hole where a muzzle should be Right, that would it's just like, be a mouth, yeah, huh? Just be a mouth. Like. That's really fascinating. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's just like oh, they wouldn't. It's know an how to interesting way that. to think about it. Yeah, because you know, what the a, heck is that? To us, we're like you know, you're oh, ugly. Oh, oh, a people, but <laughs> to them, a people. <laughs> that, is that, a people. Is that the ex- that that supposedly extinct race? <gasps> a people. <laughs> They should just have the villain just be a human. <laughs> the ultimate monster. Oh, he shows up at the very end. Once you've once you've completed once you've gotten the good end on all the routes, he shows up and he's like, Thank you for playing my game. And then Oh my god. <laughs> there, not everyone has a good route. That's true. So everyone, Some characters just have a route. Yeah, fair enough. Like Flinny Boy. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> but okay. Uh, see you around everyone.